Hey guys, working on a Jayco 267 bunkhouse today. And uh, since the day I bought this, since it was brand new, the uh, outdoor speakers, I've always cut in and out. Sometimes when I open it up, and you turn the music on and the, the one or two speakers will cut in and out and I'll jiggle the wire and then sometimes they'll come back on a little bit and I've always just left it. But uh, decided I'm gonna fix that today, so. I just took the other side apart. First thing you gotta do is get up on a ladder. Pull all these screws out right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, those two. The plastic cover comes off. And then uh, I'll show you what happens from there. Okay, now that the cover is off, I wanted to give you guys a little tip when you're taking this cover off. Sometimes these holes plug up with a lot of debris from the roof. So what I did was uh, use a little pick like this and scrape out the inside of it and get a little can of compressed air, or in this case, I use a blow gun and I blew the holes out. So I couldn't get a screwdriver down in there at all. So you don't want to jam a screwdriver in there because you'll pack it in and then you won't be able to get the screws out at all. Some of these things were pretty junked up. So now that we're actually to the root of the problem here, here's a speaker face. Those wonderful made in China speakers. Marine grade, ooh. But here's the actual problem. There's little connectors right here and they're not a very reliable connection. See them? Let's see if I can get in there. I'm trying to do this with two hands. Okay. That's your problem. These just do not make a good connection and also they're not weatherproof either. So you get a couple rainstorms in those and they corrode inside and these actually don't look that bad, but they, they don't work. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna cut these plugs right off. You're gonna pull your wire on the inside out. I'm gonna finagle it out. Excuse me here. Okay. Got the connectors out. You want to cut these off, which I mean you could if you want to get a weather tight um, splice again like that. You could. I'm just gonna hardwire it right in because there's no reason why I really need to take these off again. And if I do need to, I'll just cut it. And then you can also solder this too. But we're gonna use a butt connector, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so back in the camper now because it's getting kind of dark outside. So cut these connectors off. We're at the base. I found some wire I had laying around. Closest I could get to red was orange, so close enough. But I got these little uh, shrink connectors. This kit right here is awesome. But uh, what, what these are is they are a, a soldered shrink butt connector. So they have a little bit of solder inside of them. When you heat them up after you crimp them, the solder flows through and makes a, a seal connection. And then it has a seal around the edge. If it heats up, it oozes out and it makes a, a watertight seal. They're a little expensive. I think he's like a buck a piece, 50 cents a piece, something like that, if you buy them individually. But anyways, so that makes a good weather tight seal, not like the crap that was on there that's exposed to the weather after. So that's one end. You like to extend it out about three or four inches. You can coil a little, whatever you have left up and coil it back inside after, but it'd be better to have a little extra than not enough because that's the problem. They make it so tight that I think the connections are pulling out a little bit. So we're gonna extend this out. I'm gonna throw some butt connectors on this end just to prep them and then we're gonna go back up on the awning. And we're gonna shrink tube those up, uh, crimp them, then shrink tube it, put the cover back on, and we should be good to go. All right, it's getting dark out, so I'm gonna hurry up and wrap this up. But a couple of the connections I just put back on, crimped all those, and shrunk them all down with a torch or a little blow torch or something you can use. Make sure you get a good tight connection, pull on it a little bit, make sure there's nothing pulling out. And then you just put your cover back on, make sure you don't crimp your wires out of when you put it back up. And uh, what I did on the other side, this is the idler side. The other side is the drive end. And it has the gear on it with a motor. And what I think is a good idea to do, I took some silicone grease and greased up all the fittings. And then the gear drive itself, threw a little bit of grease around that while you had the cover off. So it's probably a, a good preventative maintenance to do every year or so. So I'll keep that in mind. But after that, should be all set.
Okay, it's all back together. It should all, should be all set now. I did both sides, both are heat shrink what? and tightened down. Make sure that you grease that track on either, on either side. Make sure your connections are tight, wiggle them. I don't hear any more cutting in and out, so that solved the problem. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thank you.